Okay, I hope I've got that thing working properly. So, instead of using a webcam like I did last time, oh, right about Thanksgiving time, because I don't know how to use Sammy's Macintosh, and that video that you guys saw was like soundless and absolutely horrendous. And I would use my laptop. But however, my laptop has had a virus on it for the last like two or three months and I still haven't figured out how to get it off. Um, so yeah, if you were wondering, that last video was mostly just me ranting about my parents' divorce, about Sammy being in Illinois because he went out to Illinois to go baptize a brother. Um, and I don't remember anything else that I was ranting about, so apparently it was a very unimportant video. It was just an excuse to make a video. Kind of like this one here. So, as you can see, the background is entirely different. And I'll give you a little tour real quick. This is our new house. Yes, house, not apartment. There's a bedroom back there. Sammy was recently accepted to BYU Idaho and we moved out to of all places Idaho. <laughs> we now live in Rigby, Idaho. This is our house that we rent for about three fifty a month. We have a billboard in our yard, so I think our landlord gets a kickback from that. Um basically is that's you know what's been going on lately? We moved to Idaho. We, you know, he's going to school. He's at school right now. And I am currently on the job hunt once more, trying to find something to pay for our bills and his tuition. And, you know, he's supposed to be getting FAFSA, but as you can recall from my past videos from last year, I'll probably be ranting about FAFSA a lot. <laughs> um, so, jobs that I've currently applied for and I'm actually really excited about, one of them is uh, a TSO, which basically is, if you know what the TSA is, those are the people who do the security checks at the airport. And I am really excited about it because if you go onto their application site, you don't even necessarily need a high school diploma. You just need at least a year's worth in security field, but I have a high school diploma, so at least I don't need that. <laughs> so it's, it's a really easy job. The application mostly consisted of about, did you commit this felony? Did you commit this felony? Did you commit this felony? I have never been asked in a job application if I have ever committed murder before. That was weird. So, we've been here for about a week, and I'm still doing the job hunt. Um, Sammy and I are actually still trying to find somebody to take over the lease back in Utah. That That has become a bit of a headache, I'll admit. So currently, we're actually paying rent on two places. We're paying rent on our house here in Idaho, and we're paying rent in our apartment back in Utah. So, uh fun with the real estate. Um, other fun stuff going on is, you know, with the job hunt, I've made a decision that I'm going to get a job where I don't have to work on Sundays, because that's been really kind of a downer for me. And so I'm looking for different jobs like that. And mostly I've made that decision because our new ward actually has the temple prep classes as a Sunday class instead of um, how it was going to be in Utah where they came to our house and did it like kind of like a missionary lesson. So I'll be able to do that and it will be once a week and soon we'll be able to, I'll be able to be, I believe the term is endowed, I, I'll admit. I've only been in the church a year now, and I'm still a little skeptical on a few issues. <laughs> um, so because of that, um, we, we won't be being sealed on January 28th or 22nd, as we had originally planned. 
because you know convenience and that was a year after my baptism or a year or like two years or so after his coming home from Illinois his mission um, so now we're not sure um, as far as I know the classes there's it's seven weeks so it's to be announced our ceiling is what I'm gonna say it's to be announced um, we also more than likely will not be sealed in the St. George Temple as originally planned I apologize for that um, we've kind of figured that it would be a lot easier if we got sealed in say either the Idaho Falls or the Rexburg Temple and you know people who want to visit like my dad or anybody like that you know they can just stay here in the house since the house is quite big enough to do that you can just lay down a couple of air mattresses as soon as I unpack all of those boxes <laughs> and you know it, it'd be a lot easier instead of having everybody get a hotel somewhere in the desert in St. George <coughs> so that's kind of how things are going lately I'll admit I'm kind of scared I don't if I don't find a job soon I'm not sure what we're gonna do and I feel kind of foolish admitting that but I I'm I'm kind of I'm really terrified and you know I've been I've been praying my heart out I've been looking for all kinds of different jobs but you know the job market here in the Rexburg Rigby area is it's pretty slim you know there's a lot of students here and they already have the jobs or you know, it's just, it's slim, you know, it's a small town, and they don't really need much, so I'm still trying to figure it out, you know, I, I can still transfer for, um, Picture Me Portrait Studios, but the problem is, is that studio is all the way in Idaho Falls, and being that they cannot guarantee me, um, another management position, and that the most that they probably will be able to give me is back at the bottom at part-time associate, it's not really worth Sammy and my time, because when, you know, his classes are at, like, 8 in the morning, and he would have to, you know, drive all the way to Idaho Falls, drop me off and I would more than likely be waiting walking around Walmart for about a good three hours waiting for my shift to start because work doesn't start until 10 o'clock and you know as much you know it's just not really worth it to us even though I love that job and I'm, I'm really gonna miss being able to do that it's been an amazing experience you know I, I've grown from that job, I, you know, I'm, I'm a lot better with kids, I, you know, I play with them now, I, like before, you know, me interacting with kids was me having an adult, trying to have an adult conversation with a child, and the child not understanding a word I was saying, and me getting frustrated because I can't understand the blubber that is child speak, and, but, you know, now I, I play with them, I communicate with them, you know, I hide my nose, you know, silly little things that kids find are funny, like, you know, back at work I used to put a frog on top of my head and I would just look at them like, where is, what's on my head, what is on my head, and they would get, you know, just bust up laughing, and I would get the most cutest, you know, the cutest, the, you know, just the, the best pictures out of that, and I'm, I'm really gonna miss that job. I really do, um, I'm, I'm considering going into photography, but the most I can do is advertise on Craigslist and you know if I get a customer base off of Craigslist I'll be lucky I've done Craigslist for my art and you know it's slim stuff it's not a full-time job and I need something more than just that but for now I can do small little gigs until I can get a job and the other thing is you know 
Tom or Sammy's tuition, you know, it, it's gonna be you know, it's a lot of money and he actually has you know, required by the school to have medical insurance, which I thought was kinda weird. So we're also paying for that and oof. On lighter note though, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. My sister in law my sister in law Cecile just had her baby. He was born late in the night on January 10th. And he's just beautiful little thing. He This is her fourth child, her third boy. So she's got L Talon Hudson and now she has Emerson. Cecile's very interesting with the names, <laughs> but I am so excited, and I'm so sad that she had the baby, like, a week after we moved to Idaho, and I don't get to see the baby, except for pictures, and I'm so sad, because I would have loved to take the, you know, his newborn pictures, that would have been so amazing for me, to take his newborn pictures, but, yeah, so, that's, that's how things are. I'm going to show you guys our front yard, though. A lot of people have seen cell phone camera pictures, but cell phone camera pictures are crap, and you can't do anything from that. So I'm going to show you guys our front yard. I feel like my cousin Courtney right now, like, walking around with the camera. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. I hate Utah. Or, <laughs> not Utah. This is not Utah anymore. This is Idaho. <laughs> That's our billboard. Yes, that's the freeway. And I think it's like four degrees outside because it's freaking cold. Oh my gosh, I'm going back inside. Oh, and that's like our big old like empty box pile. And then wood. For our wood furnace. Oh my gosh, so cold. So cold. And then there's our house again. Alrighty, guys. So... You guys have a wonderful day, and I will see if I can find the necessary stuff out of these boxes in order to upload this video to YouTube. Bye!